I am the captain of my fate, the master of my soul. That's the concluding lines to a famous poem by a fellow called Henry. We know what it means, but whether we realise it or not, we are the captain of our fate and the master of our soul, whether we're consciously aware of it or not. Those lines assume that we are making conscious choices or have reached the stage where we know that whatever is coming into our life is being made by us and we're choosing it deliberately and consciously. But that isn't the case. We're choosing it consciously and unconsciously. Whether we like it or not, the subconscious mind, the subconscious thoughts that have been put away within us are also affecting what comes into our life. We might deny that and say the world is impacting upon us. But it's our impact upon the world which seems to bring to us the particular circumstances of our life. Sounds complicated, but I'll read from this book. Professor Henry Reed, who studied Edgar Casey is talking about the way we create our own reality. And here he says, The science of subjectivity understands that we are only objective when we recognise the truth that truth is an interactive event. Observer and observed together create what we have called objective reality. Facts, circumstances and the other ingredients that, we con that would constitute the atoms of our lives are subject to our own creative perceptions. The first step in learning to have life on our own terms, to have it your way, is to realise there is actually no other way. I'll repeat that. The first step in learning to have life on our own terms, to have it your way, is to realise there is actually no other way. We cannot avoid our own role in creating the reality we experience. Now I've been saying this for quite some time now. We bring into our lives that which we think about most. But even those things that we don't think about most, that we have thought about in the past, that we've evaluated and tucked away in there, in that deep subconscious, is still influencing us. We are creating our own reality. There is no completely objective reality, a complete truth, a complete objective truth out there. Everyone is creating their own subjective reality. The fact that they overlap to the same degree, we're all seeing the same things, experiencing the same things, roughly doesn't detract from that, that fact, <laughs> if it is a fact. <laughs> the point is, I'm trying to make here, don't blame the world for the circumstances of your life. Don't give your power away. We create our own lives. Once we become aware of that, we become more conscious of our thoughts, our ambitions, our purposes, 
are our ideals. And we need to keep these in alignment with the sort of lives that we want to live. I hope you got something out of this little video. It's a complex subject, not easy to put across, quite abstract. But the point is, no one is more important to us than ourselves and how we see, interpret and feel the world. Remember that. Work on that. Bring happiness into your own life. That's what you will then be able to share with the rest of the world.